<laughs> okay, today we're looking at things real estate agents don't want you to know. And at the top of my list, I have to ask, how would I know if my real estate agent is good? See the little guy here trying to tiptoe away? I see a lot of agents sidestepping and hiding and evading. Oh, their presentations may be full of all the bells and whistles, and it may be polished enough to impress anyone who will listen, but let's get real. There are some very pointed questions to ask, and we may need to take our time digging deeper. Like, how long have they been in the business? How many houses have they sold? What's their expertise? Have they been a lender, not an agent for 20 years, but never actually sold a house? What's their greatest strength and their greatest weakness? Are they super active on social media, but not actually selling houses? We need to get beyond what's in their well-prepared presentation. All right, I'm going to lay it out there and say this is one of my pet peeves. Clients who work with me tell me that I have a Texas tell it to me straight. So I'm telling you, and see that megaphone? Yeehaw, y'all, I'll tell it if I have to. So I have sat in the computer room at my brokerage and overheard agents talk about how they aced their listing appointment with a seller and blah, blah, blah. And then they suddenly get this puzzled look on their face and ask all the other agents, ah, now what do I do? And you as a seller don't even realize that you fell into emotional resonance with a really good presentations, but you just hired a very confused agent. Okay. And you may say, well, they showed me their reviews. They showed me their production. They showed me everything. Trust me, all these things can be faked, unfortunately. My best tip is to go look at their social media. What's their all overall attitude about life and business? That can be very telling. Don't worry about what properties are posted there because they might be posting their general office activity. We're just looking for how they are in real life. And social media can tell us a lot. And then ask them pointed questions like, what's the worst client situation you've ever had? What's the worst agent situation you've ever had? Get their answers to this. It'll tell you a lot about how they behave and how they solve their problems. And of course, you also want to ask, how can you make my house stand out? Their answers will get closer to the truth of whether they're a good fit for you. And this is one of the reasons that I personally don't use any kind of listing presentation because I want to sit down over a cup of coffee so you can get to know me and whether or not you think I'll be a good fit for you throughout the process. Like they say, the best you'll ever see an employee is on the day of the interview. We want to go deeper than that and find out what their best is outside of the interview process. Leave me a comment below on whether you've ever hired anybody, real estate or otherwise, and it didn't turn out like you'd hoped. All right. 